out in the shop today and I'm running the G0602. I'm turning these little parts here out of some 3 16 rivets. These are just aluminum rivets. Uh, it's got a profile on there and then also a 10 30 seconds thread. Uh, they're very small parts. So I thought since I was turning these parts, it'd be a good time to talk about Mach 3 and threading. Now, I don't do a whole lot of threading using the G0602, but the few times I do thread, I haven't had any issues with threading. Now, in the last video, I talked about how to split the signal that we send from the proximity switch to the tachometer and split that signal and send it to Mach 3. Now in order to do that it just needs to be 5 volts or less. Around about 5 volts. And then when no signal is present, 0 volts. Well it just so happens that this particular LCD requires 12 volts to operate but by the time it goes through the circuitry it drops that signal going to the TAC to about 8 volts. And when you split it and send it to Mach 3, that particular signal is about 5 volts. So it works out really well just to send that straight to your breakout board. Now Mach 3 only uses one pulse per revolution for threading and it does this by syncing up deck signal with the feed rate. It works pretty well. Uh, these I turn are 10 30 seconds threads so that's 32 threads per inch and I'm only threading about 3 16 or a little over an eighth of an inch there that's all the thread length I have so there's not a lot of room for Mach 3 to sync up and thread but you can see it I don't know if I can get that in focus or not but it does a really good job of threading this now this is aluminum But it works really good and it creates a nice thread. So let's run another part. We'll see it in action. Profiling operation, we're using uh, constant surface speed. So the RPMs vary a little bit. Not much because it's not that great of diameter. So in Mach 3, that's a G95. Now for the threading, We'll be doing a G97. At around a thousand RPMs. can see it, it does a pretty good job of threading. Uh, let's see if I can focus it. Can't tell if that's in focus or not. Now the last little bit of code there I hand wrote and that's just to kind of chamfer the end of the bolt. Normally you would thread on the end of your stock here but because I'm reworking some rivets here I'm threading actually towards the chuck but I needed a little chamfer there before I part it just so that I don't have to redo the start of the threads there so this right here 
makes it easy to just be able to thread it right onto the nut. All right. So next we're going to part. Benefit from some game tooling, but I just don't have time to work on that with all the other projects I got going on. This is what we end up with. And it leaves this little nub on the end there, unfortunately. So what I do is I'll just clip that off. And then I'll just take and hit that with a file and knock that little nub off. But you can see it turns out some really nice parts and the threads are perfect. So for those of you who are curious about threading with Mach 3, can you thread with Mach 3? Of course you can. How precise is it? Well, it's precise enough for the work that I do. However, you only get one pulse per revolution and it does have to sync up. So if you're threading something and, and your spindle is slowing down, then you just have to kind of be careful because it's going to, once it gets its sync speed and the spindle slows down, it's going to say it stay at that same speed. So once it syncs up for that particular pass, if you're running at a thousand RPMs, when it starts at sync and it drops down to say 800 RPMs, it may mess up the thread a little bit. So you make sure you've got enough power to keep the speed constant. We take a, a a little bit less of a cut per pass if you're having any kind of issues with the spindle slowing down but otherwise Mach 3 does a great job uh, at least it hasn't for me but again like I said I don't do a whole lot of threading guys thanks for watching the video if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to comment thanks for watching the video please subscribe to the YouTube channel and most importantly be safe